Oh, and look at that, party people. I'm going to pause so they don't walk away and embarrass me. Look at that. That is the sight that we want to see. How are you doing and how have you been? My name's Taz Astral. This is the King's Pit. And I started talking without even having my microphone. So that's me, party people. <laughs> Good old Taz Astral. Right, party people. We're hopefully going to have another powerful episode. Not a strong episode. A powerful episode. So let's get on speed free as we start whacking out some progress and then we can talk about what is going to be the priority today so the kill box is coming on quite nicely hopefully we can make some work of it at some point um a quick improvement that we can make um at the moment is just by making sure we wall it up now uh, we've got a door there so we'll wall all that up we will then go straw matting and put straw all through the floors. We've got so much straw, so it's like we've got no reason not to with the amount of hay we're producing, at least for the start. There you go. So then we can just start setting fire to everything. So that'll be really, really strong in case humans come at us. That'll be really cool. And then with the EMPs, then we can stand here. We've got to get ready for it uh cargo pods the game feels sorry for me human lever that's randy telling me what's about to happen um we've got to be prepared research is still the plan that's the main plan we want to get flak armor so we can get flak vests we have devil strand you know the jam by now we have devil strand let's add flak vests that's pretty much best in slot then we're gonna go for mortars for chem fuel for turrets <sighs> Geothermal power, then the new research benches, and then we're cooking on fuel. Okay, have we got that all out of the way, party people? You know the jam by now. We've got to get through it. So the the fluid action, right. Other than that, I'm happy with everything else that's going on in the colony. The amount of hay that we have got has needs to slow down, in all honesty. I would rather up the animals and watch the hay than like start doing anything there do you know what i mean i'd like to because the animals can then just feed us forever do you know what i mean that's the idea anyway uh power wise the thing is i kept saying that we had we're having power problems we could literally just build the other wind turbine instead of being a silly goose about stuff Um, I wouldn't actually mind connecting this down here, in all honesty. I don't want to connect it across there because we'll end up burning this. And to be honest, just fill the whole thing with hay. Just fill the whole thing with hay. We've got so much hay, there's no reason not to. Uh, I'll cancel that, no interest. Auto save. Okay, oh, we got the shelves going in here, but that's where all the medicine's going to go. We've only really got Glitter World and a couple of hay... Herbal medicine, hay grass. Yeah, just use herb, um, hay grass to heal. <laughs> It'll be fine. Other than that, Nemi's bedroom is sort of on the back burner. We're not really producing enough cloth to get that done, so it is what it is. We're going to have another harvest of Devil Strand at some point, which will be nice, but that would just be like backup clothes and stuff like that. Right. Food, we're back on fine meals and everything. That's pretty awesome. What more do can we do at the moment? I, hmm, I suppose the only thing we can really do is either double wall the base, which is a great upgrade, a great upgrade, because the thing with double walling the base means we can still fight in these alleyways if mechs, like, breach through the walls. I think the move is to carry on with this kill box, though, rather than, like, doing several things incomplete at the same time. I Basically, I read, I read um, an article about... Um, what was that? I read an article about... Um, multitasking and about how like humans can't actually multitask it's all about you end up just doing two tasks slowly if that makes sense because you're not when you multitask you're not really multitasking if you, you know what i mean like if i was 
let's say, playing RimWorld and then playing RuneScape on the side. I play RimWorld, then I look up, then I'm playing um, RuneScape, then I come back. Do you know what I mean? It's like you're doing two things at once. You're just doing neither very accurately. Can you tell I'm still addicted to RuneScape? <laughs> but you know what I mean. K still going strong. Hopefully we can get K a spine at some point. Like, and the thing is, we call ourselves baddies, but we look after our own. Well, we look after our own, the, the ones that we love. Like, that's not good. We still need to open this. The problem is I don't want to come in here and they jump out with guns and start shooting us. So I'm not really into that at the moment. Mad Boomalopes. All of them. Uh, we'll fight this. The explosion might make this a little bit awkward. Right, I'm just quickly doing this. Basically shutting that, because they were going to come around there. The problem is, actually, with it all hayed, it actually makes it incredibly awkward. Are they really going to destroy every barricade? Just frustrating more than anything. Okay, so what I will do then is I'll just shut the doors. Yeah, then they'll stop doing that. Like, I'm not interested then if they're going to do that. One of them blew up on our traps, which is awkward, but is what it is. Just make sure that door keeps getting... Come on! Extinguish the fire! Yeah, I'm going to sort this door out next. Heat wave, brilliant. Okay. I was just about to say I need some action. We're getting loads of random stuff thrown at us today. Randy is not happy with us. You could, like, I feel like it's because I've reloaded the game, do you know what I mean? I've saved it, I've come back the next day, and then suddenly Randy's like, I'm coming for you. Tiggity boo, how old are you now? Or Laura is about to hit the next growth tier. That's really cool. I have to admit, having, uh, having kids in this game is actually really fun. A mad iguana. What is going on this episode? I feel like I just want to save it and quickly reload it. Like, What I am going to do is cancel this. And I think what I am actually going to prioritize is building a kill box here. So I'll probably keep this door here. I don't know how big in particular I want this. But I might just have something small like that maybe. Problem is, am I ever going to use that? I don't know. Why would I ever use this? There's no point having two kill boxes. I think the next plan 
is to have a double wall all the way around the outside. So... Let's get rid of some of these graves then. Okay. Yeah, double walling is the next plan for sure. Wildlife. Okay, everything is not manhunted anymore. So I'm restrict. Cool. And open this door up. Could do with some more doors everywhere in all honesty. Zone. So remove the roof here. Deconstruct. Deconstruct. Close that door. They'll get around to it at some point. There's no rush to sort that out. More hay getting harvested. Not great. I mean, the animals are growing. Some are still getting slaughtered, which is whatever. Luckily, it's still like a really cool and cozy temperature inside, party people. And that's what we want to say. I think the next the big thing is when we start actually producing mortar shells. I suppose that's my only little worry. That's nothing big, but you know what I mean. The double walls around the base will be quite... I think will be quite nice. Just gives us that extra layer of protection, I feel. Zones, order, wouldn't mind cutting down some more trees in all honesty. Just to make sure, another ambrosia sprout. There we go, cut them down. Still got some mining steel to go to. That doesn't really ever get done. I'm happy Nemi is just sitting on research, that is what we want. Is there any way we can get someone else on research? Let's get Rhino sitting on research. Double passion. And then Black is never going to get there because of cooking, really. Unless we get another cook. But if we can at least get two people sitting there on research full time, this can be the episode of research. So far, it's been the episode of Randy's annoyance towards us, but it is what it is, I guess. Hmm. Yeah. So we still got beds. We got room for more party people. Is there room in the inn, sir? Sir, is there room in the inn? Okay. Uh, the only thing we do need to worry about with this heat wave is these animals, because it is 55 degrees in here. So I'm going to get a cooler up in here as quickly as possible. Because our people should be pretty okay, because if we go to like gear, we can withstand temperatures up to 53. So who is our constructor? Skizzers. So let's get this cooler up for them straight away before we forget. Already working on it. Oh yeah, their heat stroke's up to 53%. That's not good. Not good, party people. Not good. Let's just put barricades in front because hopefully that will help in case of breaches, sappers coming in. I don't know. Come on, Skizzers. Good boy. Right, there we go. Then pull this down. To like 16. Right, then the temperature in here is dropping massively. So at least if they come in here, hopefully they're a little bit safer. 
It's not going to work by much, though, is it? No, no, the heat stroke's gone down massively. So does it show me in here what temperatures they can withstand? 40 degrees. Okay, well, they've got this safe house, and obviously I can just turn them off. So we could get a mechanoid. No, no, it's not worth it. Not for them rewards. As much as I want honor and stuff like that, that's going to cause us all manner of problems. Rhino's pregnancy progress to a third trimester. Cool, so we'll have another kid in the colony soon. Laura still smashing out. Okay, I am very happy with how this is all ticking over. I'd like to do more to the kill box, but it's sort of as and when we can, in all honesty. Tata de Peril. Okay, what have, oh, there's nothing I can do. So if I strip you naked, then you'll moan that you're naked. So it's like a, it's a lose lose situation. Um, I would like some more people on research this episode, in all honesty. So I think what I'm going to do. Oh no, here we've got Rhino and Nemi. It's going to be as good as it's going to get, in all honesty. Uh, he's not as good trainer. Um, yeah, I'll do that. Sorry, I'm just I was trying to think, oh, Tickety Boo could do crafting, and then no. Uh, so let's go Rhino, chat here. We ain't got any coinage, but if we can make a sale or something, we might be able to make something work. Come on, Rhino, I know you're pregnant, but it's no excuse. Uh, sell the Ambrosia, sell the Plasteel, we're not using it at the moment. Gives us like 500 to do something. I need to remember to keep looking for spines. Because I've had previous saves where spines have actually popped up in here. So I do need to be, be aware of that. At the moment, like skill traders, berserk pulse. Berserk pulse is a good one. Smoke pop as a psych trainer. Mm, that's quite cool. Okay, then I'm not going to sell the plastic because then there's nothing we really would like. So I'll take a couple of Glitter World Medicine then. Yep, that's fine. Colony's bored. There's not really much we can do about that at the moment. Install that because no one can play that, and that's another recreational source. And we'll get the TV at some point, but I want to smash down the research routes that we want to do at the moment. The other wind turbine is done, so I'm hoping we can turn on the smelter. What I will actually do is some of the steel slag chunks I'll even start hauling, so in case we're really bored. If there's any sandstone chunks that are like nearby, I'll haul them, but I'm pretty sure we've nabbed them all. A little bit of mining is getting done, so Black! We love you, Black! We love you! That's why you're like... Captain! Right, lots of words. Okay, okay. And wildlife, is there anything we can... We care about hunting? Not really. Right. Yeah, there's lots of things we've queued up for deconstruction and stuff. The heat wave is over, that's quite nice. I'll leave this cooler on unless our electric starts struggling or anything like that. We will have to look at a place to put our batteries could put it in here why if I pause no not really
I might start mining this back to see like how far until it starts hitting. Like under a mountain. There we go. Deconstruction is starting to get done, which means people are catching up on jobs, which is huge. I thought Laura was actually helping out there. Nah, Laura, you're just chilling. I suppose you're technically learning, so I'll accept it. A mad ostrich. Watching it, it's over here. Right, there we go. Great shooting. Great shooting. Nice. Easy, easy. Never doubted them. Never doubted them. <laughs> uh, uh. Serious? Loads of animals. We'll end up making this a little bit bigger. I'll probably join these rooms up eventually. No, there's no point adding anything until we can actually get this room up. With the lack of cloth that we're producing, like... We're trying to run before we can walk. Steel wall. Deconstruct all that for steel. There we go. I would like... I think, I think we might go into grabbing this which will then let us have like mech slaves and stuff like that to toil the field because i think the king is a bit fed up of having to do all this silly toiling and stuff like that Yeah, hauling's not really getting done, which is what it is. But it's just the case of maybe getting some boomalopes or something. Wildlife. So what is my handling? Ten. Should we try and tame some boomalopes? So, go on then, we'll try and 10% chance that they attack. Who is doing it? Don't do it, Rhino. No, we won't do it. Because Rhino's pregnant, so she won't be able to run away. So if she gets in trouble, she'll be in, like, real trouble. Okay. So a lot of the females aren't actually of age yet. Because obviously the animal produce isn't exactly um, flowing into the colony at the minute. I think, to be fair, a lot of it is getting used immediately. But I'd like a little bit more of a safety gap with food. Especially with how I normally ignore stuff the thing is i focus on it one and then my like dyslexia like kicks in and i can't focus very well hey grass is going down a little bit but i think that's more because i've been placing it everywhere rather than it's getting eaten but a lot more cows are incoming which sounds like i mean like i like i'm insulting people but 
It's so nice that four windmills have actually just been rocking us for quite a while. We used to hate windmills, like totally against using them just because we used to always beeline towards um, solar panels, to be fair. But I think that's because I'm much more enjoying the tribal start rather than like the crash landed start. Like, I don't know what you guys prefer to do when you start Rimworld. I'm much more... I think I like like that rawness to it where it's like you don't have the research and then you got the rush to get the coolers up and stuff like that. We actually got a research done, party people. They said it wouldn't happen. They said it wouldn't happen. Right. Flak armor. Yeah. Let's get to mortars then as quickly as possible. To be fair, pause. It's probably better do it getting the chem fuel production up first. Only the reason why I say that is because mortars is 4,000 research. So it's going to take a while to obviously research that. In the meantime, we could be generating chem fuel in the meantime. I don't think we can make chem fuel out of hay. Now, can we do it out of eggs or something? Because then we could like mass produce animals and then like use them twicely. Whoops. Smack my microphone just out of, out of excitement, party people. Yeah. Very, very happy, party people. I've heard you say that 162 times. No. Oh, and look at that, party people. I'm going to pause so they don't walk away and embarrass me. Look at that. That is the site that we want to see. That I love. I absolutely love. And what a difference it's going to make. And that's what's just going to propel us. It's something that I've been... Oh, no, I've gone to speed one. I've embarrassed myself. But that's something that we needed to get done a lot, lot sooner. But now we're here. The fact we can get more people just sitting on research as much as possible is really nice. So we can just knock through it. And how long until more Devil Strand comes in? 89%. Okay, okay. Uh, machining table. Okay, so an EMP launcher I would like. And I would like EMP grenades, please. Um, just do once. The EMP launcher in case we fight them outside of our base for whatever reason. And an extra EMP, just in case. And flak helmets. Flak helmets, we will literally just make sure there's two laying around. Uh, flak helmet, can I make that really high? The materials we need for that. Have you always been able to do this with flak helmets? I'm sure this is the first time I've seen this screen. So I'm assuming uranium is the best. Like, I'm assuming. So, like, steel, flak helmet, 63, 31. Okay, so I'll do it out of uranium then, because we've got loads anyway, so I'll go... Then uranium. Only allowed. There we go. So hopefully we can get some uranium. So that that's really good gear for us then. Devil Strand outfit, flak vests, uranium flak helmet. So... Let me pause. No, okay, so I can't do it with a vest, okay. Uh, the vest as well, make sure we always have two. I'll prioritize the vest before the flak helmet, just because I feel like the vests we could get done a lot quicker. And then make sure it's all above 50, 30. So we're going to need to start pushing mining steel.
problem is, how do we force a miner in this? The only way we do it is Skizzers does it. Free on mining, that's rough. Skizzers is going to have to come one on mining. Problem is, K was the miner before. Obviously, since her incident. <coughs> incident or accident? I don't know what sounds better. Yeah, food just sort of... Isn't really going anywhere, really, is it? And considering the amount of animals that we've got, that's a bit silly. Wildlife... A lot of boomalopes. How many hunters have we got? So Nemi is our hunter with a sniper. Have we got any other long-ranged weapons? Pause. And then Trout as well. No, Trout's got so many tasks, I can't then ask Trout to do... Have to be Black. So then Black come get the... The problem is, is Black cooks. So it has to be Skizzers. So Skizzers, come get the bolt action rifle. And then I'm gonna set up hunt orders. Is there any wildlife that's close? No, this is the closest sad. No, no, these are. So orders, hunt, we'll start hunting them. Nemi with the sniper, Skizzers with the bolt action rifle. Obviously 10%, 10 chance for them to manhunter. But Skizzers getting the job done straight away. You got to love it. Dedication. Just get some food off. Just to see if we can just boost the stocks a little bit. Maybe I'm not convinced I can hear more explosions. Thing is, we're waiting. The thing is, the corn coming in. I say that like we're struggling. Do you know what I mean, people? We're chill, Rimworld. Got a bit nervous at the beginning of the episode where Randy kept throwing stuff at us, but he calmed down. He calmed down. We show him respect, and he respected us in return. And that's all you can do. Show of treat others how you'd like to be treated yourself. Randy knows what it is. Nan Randy knows what it is. Shame when you kill them, you don't have a chance to get a bit of chem fuel, but I get why. The rec room isn't really fit for purposes, though. I mean, if we had too many colonists, we could just turn this whole thing into a rec room. And then make the garrison, like, here. And that wouldn't be shocking. I would prefer to keep it here if we could, but... It might just get a bit small for the amount of people that we've got. Lots of steel, but actually not that many when you really think about it. Just getting some more doors in. I'm going to offset them doors just because I know that offset. It doesn't bother my OCD, but I know it'll bother someone's. Then shall I line up these doors? Now, let's get a couple more doors just so we can be... Just get around a little bit more quicker if we need to. A bolt's good... The game has loved a bolt's good trader lately. The sad thing is, is we don't really have the money to really be able to prioritise, but... What it's all about is that workroom party, people. Everyone's working hard for the colony, for the king, for our king, Nemi. If you got to this point of the video, leave a like, leave a sub, leave a comment. I'll catch you next time, party people. Bye.